is a base story game that takes your choices into account to shape your relationship with other characters choose wisely hi guys welcome to tell me why should be a good game i've heard the beginning is very intense my co-worker is playing this right now which i was gonna play this later i was gonna play another game first but he's playing it right now so I want to play with it. I want to play it so I can talk to him about it because he's been like trying to tell me stuff without spoiling anything. All right, 2005, Australia, not Australia, goddamn brain, Alaska. Guys, I swear. Oh, this is why I hate, like me and my, that coworker I was talking about, like, We've talked about like few questions, okay? how we react to making mistakes and stuff, and like I've gone over the embarrassment because I just do that so much to where I say something and it's not what I mean to say. Can you and, like, tell me what happened tonight? I know what I mean to say, especially. I went to show her my haircut. Especially when I'm at work and I like this is this she dog's had name. She a gun. And she. Damn. Take uh, your time. But I call it the wrong name just because the way my out. brain works, and it's like, oh, you know that I, dog's this. I'm like, yes, I know that dog's I, that. I don't okay. I didn't mean to. No, it's not. It's not okay. My mom tried to kill me so. Damn. Hard. Okay. So I stabbed her. Okay. I killed. Starting my off strong. I see this. You killed your. Okay. Okay, I can see why it starts off intense. Okay. Okay, game. Yeah, we're this is apparently the type of game that I have chosen. Alright, damn. Okay. Ooh, hopefully we get some more context for that little just little drop of it, boys. I mean we're second. 2015. So it's been 10 years? Cause it's a 20 2005 last time, right? We're also not in jail, so it must have been a uh, justified killing. Oh, this is gonna be copyrighted. Is it? This is gonna be like a life history. All the music is gonna be copyrighted. Is this the same uh, person? I would assume so, since it showed the thing and then it got started, but maybe not. Oh, but it's showing us two different characters. That's probably the person. Maybe it's both of them. It's probably that one, because the haircut looks closer. But then again, it's been 10 years, so the, the hairstyle could have changed. Why is there no other sound except for, like, music? I mean, like, I get it, but also copyright issues. Look, I'm back. Oh, are we coming home? Or, I mean, it says welcome back, but maybe it's just like, hey, we're meeting again. Yay. Is that us? Them? Both of them? Maybe we went away at college, depending on what age we were five years or ten years ago. Gift. Something. Drinks. Keys. House keys. Please give me water and sun. Thanks. <laughs> I love that. I know you. Something, something, something. Okay. House keys. We've done everything else. I still can't read what that second one is. Okay, God. first, I'm gonna find the keys to the old house. Then, I'm gonna drive to Fireweed, and I'm not going to freak out. Everything's fine. Why would you freak out? 
Everything's fine. No. In my desk drawer, maybe? Gift. Itinerary. Ah, I figured it out. Stacks of drinks. Car keys. Okay. All set. I think. Please, Still Chief Brown, ask Cancel to keys. reconsider budget. Deck strikes to begin this week. Supports gun control, money for local schools. Cool. I should probably check my email one more time before I go. No, I've already done that three times this morning. Time, I... Time and I against any two. Shape of yesterday, summertime, sweet. All right. Got yourself some makeup. Ooh, hockey. Don't think that's us. Michael and Tyler are so gonna hit it off. Okay, I don't know which one's which. Nothing to say about that photo, okay. It's gonna be so crazy to see him after all these years. All right, so we each had that photo. That's kind of cool. Is there anything else there? <sighs> is he gonna like this? Uh. Or is it too much? It came from you. I'm sure it's going to be fine. Okay, can I... Okay, back out even more. WSAD to walk. Yes, I have gotten that. Thank you. I'm just going to look at everything. Get rid of this. I mean, I can stream it anytime I want. But it makes me happy just to look at the box. Okay, first... You can't stream it every time you want, especially if they take it down, like Star Wars, you know, or Star Trek, I mean, because they canceled it, and then they're pulling it from the service, so therefore you can't watch it anytime you want. Second, you need your physical stuff. Oh, it has a boo-boo. I need to bring this with me to Juno. Cool, okay. Dartboard! With somebody's face on it? Is that just the robber, I guess? I have got to make solid plans to see the Geminids. I wonder if Tyler would want to go. Oh, okay, so Tyler's who are picking up? Hey, you want to freeze your ass off watching burning rocks fall through the sky? Yeah, I might need to work on my sales pitch. Uh, no, oh, that sounded awesome, actually. I would love to go. Let's go. Look, 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 look. Oh, right, I stashed them down here. Well, hopefully this doesn't take me out because I still want to look at the rest of the room. What is that? <laughs> is that your version of a Franco pop? <laughs> so oh, that actually looks really hiding. good. Uh, look this at the feels photo. Like another lifetime. Mm, Agent does that. Having life in years on you. I think I'm ready House to go keys. now. House I think is what it was. Oh. Ooh, I can't wait to force Tyler to watch this with me. He's totally gonna hate it. <laughs> One more season. What am I even gonna do with myself when it's over? Get invested in the lives of real people? I mean, you could. That's kind of what I'm wondering with One Piece. I'm like, when this is over, <laughs> what am I gonna do? It's been my one show for so long. What do we got here? Paints? I can fix this! Okay, a bunch of stuff. Plate supplies. I haven't practiced since high school. I'm probably super rusty. Oh, maybe that was us in a photo set. I'm not going to see any stars at this time of day. Okay. Huge thing for this guy. Not the prettiest That's cool. of my creations. But she weirdly kind of looks like me in the morning. <laughs> Dead and I could look red. I've this artwork all day. Okay, so we used to play hockey. We really love this guy. We like movies, and we're invested in a uh, what I can only assume is a zombie type show, considering it's risen from the grave. Although I guess it could be vampires, but more than likely that zombies. Why do I still have this? Every time I look at it, it reminds me of how very single I am. What does that say? Read. Ashley, Ash, Ashlyn and Bobby, senior prom. Never went to any proms. I never went to any dances, actually. I didn't even go to graduation. <laughs> I literally did nothing at my school. But, I mean, to be fair, my graduation was from an online school. I mean, they did have a physical... Uh, 
graduation. I just didn't go to it. All right, let's go see what the rest of the house is. Oh, or we're flipping back to this guy. Ugh, Allie, she's gonna be so awkward. Okay, so so this is Tyler. That's Allison. Michael was another friend of Allison's. Got it. Everybody remember who everyone is. Is everyone being kept, kept up? Dear Tyler, I know you're thinking, a letter? Why all the weird and formal? What's wrong with email? Well, I figured, hey, bro, I just want to give you my, I just want to give my twin a shout before reuniting after 10 years of swink. Juvie is more the letter territory. Whatever. You'll thank me when you're nine, when we're 90 and the machines have taken over and you still have something to read by uh, candlelight. See? Always thinking ahead. Anyway, I can't believe you'll be out for real in a few weeks. What? Amazing. I'm definitely going to be awkward when I see you. So please try not to notice, okay? How's your last month going? Are you sad about leaving your mitties? I bet you're gonna, um, I bet they're going to miss you. See? I got my tires replaced, so I'm all gonna pick you up, and you have saved the snark when you see my ride. She's been through a lot, and we can all be car guys. Anyway, the witches let me take the day off so we can go straight to the old house and get ready for the cell and everything. Can't, can't wait to never think about that place again. I really can't wait to see you. I don't know if I made that clear. Love you. Ah. Okay, so he did go to prison. He went to juvie. Ooh, sounds like. And we're twins? So, brother and sister? I we're about to leave this room for the last time. Okay, I'm pretty much done here. I just need to grab my goblin, and I'm off. Is this a nice place for having be in jail? I... I don't know. Uh, gonna miss these dum-dums. Maybe it was, like, a work-off or something? Man. The soundtrack to my angsty teen years. I'll leave it for the next rebel. They're gonna need it more than I do. Been listening to this on a loop lately. Okay. Bummed I have to leave this behind, but the old house would probably collapse if I blasted this inside. But that's the fun part. That's why you get good speakers that you can never actually use at full volume because everyone would complain. <laughs> Wish I could have finished this before I left, but God, it was a slog. I know most of these by heart at this point. Okay. Right. So we had a couple books, couple CDs. Man, he's going places. And I'll be able to say I helped Students way. are to show a grind house. Tyler, 20, matches young to an artist with a local vineyard. Oh, so that's us? So we're 20. So I guess Allison's 22. Well, depending on when this is, we could be older. Okay. Hmm. Is there any way I can... No, that's someone else's problem now. Shit, I gotta do. Tutoring. Help pizza with college animation essay by... something. Call Dr. Pick. Recancel sexual with Jimmy. Meet Aaron. Grad dream problem set up. Miss finish paperwork for escape E2 and letter November 2nd. Something for Allison. Okay. <laughs> Man, Man, what a view, view, though. Damn, I like that view. Hey, little guy. Oh, we both You're have be one. reunited with your sister soon. Give me this one. That's cool. I like that. Crafty oh, little guy. Cool. I guess I'm totally ready to go now. You found the first game collectible. You can browse them Bye, in the Herbert. menu. Oh, we're not taking the plant with us? Celebrate! The March on June. March. Okay. Gotcha. I'm assuming we went. You stay here. Depending on what the youngsters point in, in time cinema. we're at. Denali. I need to get my application ready for next summer. Ooh, speaking of applications, guys, I've been accepted into the college I was wanting to go to, and I'm super excited, but also it kind of sucks because they gave it, like, the way they, um, like, accepted me, and I don't know if it's like this for ev everything, because, like, the other college I went to is just, you, you're in, like, you, you don't, like, have to try it again, it's just, like, 
you pick that school you're in pay your fees whatever you know but this is kind of like a specialty school so i had to actually apply and show my skills and do uh two minute video like showing who i am showcasing works i've done so like i had to try to get it is so, like the way they sent it to me it just i opened my email just randomly and it's like here's your gator link I'm like, what? Is this a mistake? What is this? And so I clicked on that. I went in there. I made my account. I went to my status. It said undetermined. And I'm like, well, am I in or not? Clicked on that. It said, congrats. I went to like four different pages before I got the congrats. You've been admitted into the college. And I'm like, what? But yeah, I got in. So come August, I'm going to actually start. Like, I know. Uh, being a game developer, I know you don't have to go to school. Um, and like, I made two games just following a tutorial from a different like classes I found online. But this I'm excited for because it's it's kind of like a jack of all trades type classroom because it's 2D, 3D, cinema cinematography, game design, game development, like it's. It's a lot of things all like kind of intertwined, and that's what I want to do. I'm really excited actually for the cinematography. I think it looks good. Um, Take me this box of junk and treasures now yours by the first law of finders keepers. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited to go, but also like it starts in a couple of weeks, and it's like now I have to figure out how to, how to get like loans and stuff, and figure out how I'm gonna pay for it. <laughs> on top of everything else I have to do. It's like, ah, but I'm excited. I'm really excited to do this. Hello, hey! Hey, Aaron, you know I'm bad at this, but I just wanted to say you've been the best counselor and at risk yet reliable youth, haha, <laughs> kid one. Thanks for putting up with me and helping in more ways than you know. Try to make it count outside Fairwood. Survival is rebel. Thanks, man. Tyler. Cool. Um, but yeah, like I'm, I'm really excited to go to school. <laughs> Which is kind of stupid because I don't like school, but that's also because it was a physical school. Well, and it's also because once again, they've told me that you need two years of a language and you need your math because I have to finish my general education and I haven't done uh, I haven't done math yet because I hate math I suck at math and I always need a tutor for math so I already know I need a tutor and two, two years which I did Spanish two years I don't remember any of it and I did sign language one year so I don't know why that doesn't count um, I mean they were high school classes but it should First you lit her, second, that would have been great. Um, but yeah, so I'm planning on taking sign language again if I can even find a class to teach it. Because normally that's not like an option. Hi, Tyler. It's normally just Spanish and Hi. I don't want to take Spanish again because I don't remember it and I don't. Years and it's Hi, Tyler. Honestly, I don't oh. enjoy learning it, so. Sorry. Hi. It's fine, Allison. Hi is a good place to start. God, it's good to see you. Pippin, I really wish you Likewise. weren't sitting in the middle of my screen. I would like to see what's happening you and, you know, the words and stuff. Anything else you need to get? Nope. This is it. My last 10 years in a bag. Then we should get going. We just have time to make the morning ferry. You look good in that. Thanks. One of my mentees designed it. It's really good. Yeah, he's so incredibly talented. I got a couple of local coffee shops to hang his art. Tyler Ronan, shaping the leaders of tomorrow. Yep, we're screwed. <laughs> so, are you gonna miss anything about this place? Oh, uh, Pippin, I have to move you. I can't see my options. Just sit there, that's the whole place, that's the whole reason. The food, the people, uh, sure. Honestly, the people. I think the food would probably Yeah, the should. residents, my mentees, my counselor, Aaron. It took me a while to fit in. But once I did, it felt like home. They made me feel safe. Safe enough to be me. That's so great. I'm really happy for you. 
Yay! We plan to drive to Delos Crossing or push? You are welcome to walk. Nah, I'll take my chances. Need one last look or anything? Looked. Let's go. <laughs> That's such a cool looking area. I would love to visit uh, to visit Alaska one day. I mean, I would love to visit visit all the states like I have the world map I mean you can't see anymore because I'm blocking it but like I have the world map out back here that you can scratch off and it turns into a no, color really? to show that you've been there. I am 100% not creative enough to make that stuff and up. And so like I have oh, Texas, Florida, week, Colorado, Ohio, Georgia and then I have no Greece. Way. <laughs> Someone heard a commotion in the little, back of the delivery truck so they spot over, over and another continent. Fat and happy on a literal mountain of empty chip bags. <laughs> you go where the food is. Oh, I can relate to that. So then what happened? I'm not sure. I think they couldn't get him to leave, so they tranked him. Oh, poor buddy. Shot in the ass just for getting the munchies. Yeah, well, you know what they say. Safety first in bear country. Yeah, but prevention is best. Common sense goes a long way in keeping them from getting shot. The bear is fine, Tyler. For now. You hear they've been talking about loosening up regulations on trophy hunting again? Higher bag limits, inhumane ground traps, even bringing back hibernation hunting. What kind of asshole gets off on killing a sleeping animal? I'm not against hunting, but predators play a vital role in the health of our natural parks. What? <laughs> Why are you smiling? I'm being serious. Oh, I can tell, Ranger Tyler. Not yet. But at least I got the school part out of the way. I can't believe you've got a bachelor's already. While I boast a half-completed certificate in accounting from an online college that may have stolen my credit card number. You'll figure out what you want. You have time. Oh no, I relate to these characters so How much already. <laughs> this might be I'm trouble. About to drive straight into a whiteout, and my fog lights are dead. God, that looks so beautiful. I would love to not be what in the you? city. Allison? Well, zoned out there for a second. Sorry. What's up? I'm sorry, I'm just trying to wrap my head around the fact that you're right here, standing beside me, on our way to Delos. You don't have to apologize. It's a lot. God. Oh man, I wish I didn't live where I lived. I miss my mountains and my forest so Why much. Why did we take the ferry instead of the coast road? Because I didn't want to be stuck in the car with you for an extra two hours. Ha ha. <laughs> We have to take the ferry. It's the only way to reach Delos from Fireweed. I see. Well, good. I don't think my stomach could have taken two more hours of how you handle curves. I'm sorry. Do you want to take over driving when we dock? <laughs> no. You're going to have to get back behind that wheel at some point, you know. Look, I put a Fireweed van nose first in a ditch. Hey, at least you missed the porcupine. <laughs> that is the important thing. I'm guessing things haven't changed much. You mean in Delos? Still the capital of East Jesus Nowhere. Can't wait to get out of here. Hold to reply. Um... God damn it, hold on. Guess that normal life you want to do up to your expectations, huh? Why? I mean, having cable and full-time electricity was definitely a plus, but... No one ever forgets anything in a small town. You get marked a weirdo, and that's it. That's your life. At least you had Michael. Yeah. I don't think I'd have survived high school without him. Bet you're gonna miss him when you move to Juno. How's he doing? Good. Good, good. Uh, but I haven't seen him much outside of work lately. He's been busy with his dance and helping his clan organize a potlatch. Oh, I so, wouldn't be here! coming out of Stonehouse? <laughs> Huh? Guess someone finally bought that old shack. 
That, or the ghosts are cozying up by the fire. Think the new owners know it's totally haunted? I'm sure Tina did her best to keep them from figuring it out. At least until the paperwork was signed. Ugh. That house always gave me the creeps. Those windows are like huge gawking eyes. Uh, you think people talk about our house this way? Probably. Probably. This looks so good. This looks so, so good! Uh, Sorry, I'm really sure that's probably bugging some people, but I love Stonehouse? looking around. And then we're going home. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Think the house was a waterfall. No interested buyers yet. Turns out people don't line up to buy murder houses with no electricity. <laughs> At least it's got one hell of a view, unlike Juno. Hey, Juno has mountain views aplenty. It just also has people and fun. You still thinking you might be my roomie? Thinking about it. Hey, can I ask you a question? No, you cannot. Uh, sure. Shoot. I was told... Um, I mean, after you, well, graduated, I guess, and became a mentor three years ago, you still basically spent all your time at Fireweed, right? Pretty much. There were a few times I tried to go to these meetups for trans people in Juno, but something always came up. I probably should have put myself out there more, but it was better to be around in case the residents needed me. So you were free to come and go as you pleased? Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, nothing. Just being an overly invested sister. Curious Man. how you spent your time. You could have came visit, but you never did, pretty much. <laughs> Allison? Yeah? Spit it out. Okay, you need to promise not to freak out. What is it? Okay. It's a gift. For what? Maddie. Oh. I know he's not your favorite person, but... I'm sorry, when you said Eddie, I thought you meant Chief Brown, as in the police officer who arrested me. Come on, Ty, don't- And your adopted father, the man who didn't let you visit me for seven years. The Fireweed Administration backed him up, Tyler. They thought it was best for both of us. Yeah, well, it wasn't. It's a peace offering, and you're the two most important people Why in my life. Why would a ring be a peace offering? Please, that seems for kinda me. kinda weird. He can't buy my forgiveness with some cheap-ass trinket. It's a gift, Tyler. You know what gift-giving means in Clinket culture, and what it means to refuse one. Um, uh, except I don't? Fine, it will make her happy, I guess? Okay. Fine. I'll take it, but I'm not going to wear it. Really? Really? Should I look so that up? Clear, what does that mean? <laughs> this was for you, not Chief Brown. You know, you could call him Eddie. Whoa, or don't push it. Uncle? <laughs> don't push Hard it, lady. Pass. Okay, so he arrested us, adopted her. Uh... Yeah? <laughs> is everyone that? following so far? <laughs> is that a whale? Whoa! Ooh. <laughs> no place like home. Yeah. All right, so we couldn't see him for seven Would it years. Would the moment if I said I needed to call home? Yes. Uh, yes. Completely. Sorry. Absolutely. Why? Go ahead and stop apologizing all the time. Okay. Why sorry. do you need to call home? <laughs> Thanks. And also, you don't need my permission at all. Just, just gonna put that out there. The whale's all done. The whales are so cool. Is there? It's so weird being back on this boat. Like, do I have like a journal or an inventory? 
So we have that. Okay, so the ring isn't counting as like an object. Listen. The crafty goblins are two cunning little thieves who live under the princess's house. They're Those always are really getting well into done. mischief, but they have good hearts. Cool. Okay, but we don't have any like anything to like track. Uh, here's my sport. Checking my six bag. Should check like our relationship with people. Still. Oh, <laughs> we're supposed to be inside the vehicle. Oh, whoops, that easy. What a waste of a good pun. God, I would love. I want to visit so bad. It's so cool. Oh man, this just makes me an itch wanting to go places. But everything else fails. Try doing what the captain suggests. Charming. I told y'all. Would you happen to be the Morning. captain? Hello. Enjoying the ride? Uh, I love it. I keep on hitting the wrong thing. I don't think I could ever get tired of this. Agreed. Where are you headed? Uh, Delos Crossing. Same here. You from around here? Born and bred, just visiting. I guess born and bred? Born and bred. Uh, I mean, don't say. technically, I moved that's to true. Your age. Delos was mostly Alaska natives then. Clay kid, I'd, uh, I haven't been home in five years. Uh, you visiting family? Oh, uh, so you owed your family a visit? I'll say. You may not know it yet, but your folks get old real fast. <laughs> right. Right. I'm Alex, by the way. Yeah. Alex Gershwin. No relation. Huh? To George Gershwin. Um... Gershwin, the pianist. Folks are always asking for related, so I try to head it off the path. <laughs> then you have uh, to awkwardly uh, explain what you're talking about. What'd you say your name was? I didn't. I'm Tyler. Tyler Ronan. I, uh, uh... Ronan, huh? Ronan as in the Ronans? I was curious uh -huh. if he would so react to our last name. Here. I never knew those girls had a brother. We didn't. Uh, I, uh... Okay. So we were twin girls. Nice talk. Yeah. Then Enjoy got more comfortable with ourselves. That's such an awkward thing. <laughs> I'll see you around town. <laughs> oh man, what what a life we have hey, had. Allison, can we take the scenic route instead of the highway? She off her phone? Allison? Don't think she can hear you. <laughs> Guess not. Thanks, dude. I could have figured that out. Thanks. So sister found out more about ourselves. Killed mother. Did I ever see what happened to dad? Don't know. Went to jail. Coming back. Everybody knows us. Everybody reacts to our name. <laughs> That's about what I've got so far. The jewel of Alaska. In bed and breakfast. Now open. Canoe for sale. Ooh. Introducing making devil's club tea on a way of life. Okay, tea, cool. Tell him dance. I wonder if that's what uh Michael is doing. That was his name, right, our friend? There is no substitute. Protect our only home. Looks cool. Under the sea. Maybe it's that. Maybe he does both. Or wait, is that high school? Maybe not that one. Was that one high school? I don't know. I really didn't read them that closely. Leave. But, but I don't want to. I want to look. Look how pretty. Oh my God, look at the lift. Oh man, I want to go traveling. It's like, I am making my parents so yeah, so 
as I was saying, I'm pissing my parents off because I'm buying a motorcycle and I've bought myself a motorcycle helmet and they are very disappointed and mad that I'm doing that because like literally everyone you tell that to is like, it's so dangerous. I've known people that died. You're going to die. And it's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> Like, I don't know why people think telling you that is going to change your mind. I mean, maybe that works on some people, but, like, I'm one of the people that research it. I know the st statistics. Like, I've watched the crash videos. I've watched the videos to show you what happened to your gear. Like, how fast payment shaves you down like a, uh, I don't know, like a pencil lead or something. I don't know. Whatever you shave and it, like, I know. I crash we're at worst i'm dead if not maybe i lose the you know my legs or my arms or something you know like i'm aware but also i can't keep on relying my family to take me places and to do things it's irritating me it's irritating them and plus i'm gonna be 28 in a month it's about time i stopped relying on my family to do stuff for me because, like, I'm very close to my family. I still live with my folks because it's just the cheapest option there is. I literally... I don't pay rent, okay? I don't pay rent. I don't pay for the internet. I don't pay for my phone. I don't pay electricity, water, garbage, any of that I don't pay for. So I'm, I'm doing part-time while going to college, while trying to buy a ride... And saving money like I I have it really good right now but yeah this is they hate it and they rather I just drive a car but I've tried to drive in a car and I don't like it I can't see where I am I don't have the awareness I feel very unsafe in a car and I know that seems stupid that being on a motorcycle is safer when it's completely not but I something I feel like I can do so that's what I'm doing it's the one subject I have learned that I can't talk to my folks about. I asked them, I'm like, hey, do you want me to keep you updated on what I'm doing with the motorcycle, the gear I'm buying, all this? And they both said no. So that's the one subject I like have officially can't talk to them about. And it kind of sucks because I felt like I could tell them anything, but it makes them really uncomfortable. So I'm respecting that boundary and I'm not I'm not telling them about my helmet or anything like that. Hey, baby girl. I know uh, tattoos, that one's not unofficial, but I don't tell them when I get tattoos anymore because they don't like tattoos and they don't like that I'm getting covered, but I do. And the tattoo arm I'm about to have come August or start getting worked on in August means a lot to me. And I know like I've told my brother about it and he doesn't care, but like it has a lot of meaning to me. I don't get a tattoo unless it has meaning to me and this one does i'm not gonna say what it is until like specifically what it is until it's done but that and anything like this game or anything that's under the lgbtq umbrella anything that has to do with that community i know dad's very uncomfortable with me talking about it so i don't talk to him about that mom's okay but it's still not something that i readily talk to them about <laughs> So we've paid for this house for 10 years. Why? And how? Did Chief Brown pay for it? Because, again, not knowing, well, we're 20 now. It's been 10 years, so we would have been 15 at the time. I mean, wow. I guess if we had a school it's basically week or exactly work, like we could have paid for it only faded like a polaroid left on a windowsill from the outside it almost looks charming charm's not the problem structural integrity may be an issue you think there's a chance whoever buys it will just tear it down 
If someone Probably. buys it, they can do whatever they want with it. You wouldn't care at all? Would you? Sure. Everywhere I look, hey! I see a piece of one of our adventures. Snack, you cat. Everywhere I look, I just see her. Stop. Allison, we could go grab a bite. Start this tomorrow? No. So the only way to get this done. I know we is killed the mom, but was like she completely abusive or was it just over Tyler wanting After to be you? Tyler? It really hasn't said. Is it really that just like that one accident incident that's like tainted the whole place? Why why do you do this? Literally all yesterday. Well, not all yesterday because I had work, but when I came home, I was literally on the couch all day. Why do you choose now to want me? So she's like she's like a kid. Every time I like have to have my hands to do something, How she wants to get around love. these roads with this thing. She'd rather have broken her neck than spend money on a new one. Yeah, still waiting for those bikes she promised Stop. us. Uncle Eddie got me one. I hardly ever used it. Stop! Okay, I'm happy to see you. Hey, it's I love locked, you. All right. Why can't you do this at a later date? Go on. What was she doing out here that night? Come on, man. Stop thinking about that. Homemade cleaning products may be better for the planet, but they do not have the same shelf life. Oh. Add it to the shopping list. Can we kill her? Whoa, at least the tools are still here. That'll help tools. with the repairs. They're good quality, too. Marianne wanted stuff like that to last. She did not like us using her tools. She was probably just afraid we'd hurt ourselves. Or she thought we'd go on a rampage and tear up her precious plants. And we would have, so... Okay. Sounds like maybe there's just tension from the very beginning. the rain water at least the shed's still standing yep i don't want to think about what might be living inside it though Ooh. well better alive than dead Ugh. yes let's deal with that later plenty okay. else to do. i can't believe these are still here yeah we should hide them so they don't frighten away potential buyers why they're cool wait is it a bad thing <laughs> remember how mad she'd get if we didn't use the compost and she always knew when we were lying. Waste not, or kiss the planet goodbye. It's kind of weird, because wasn't Tyler the one that killed the mom? But she seems, or he seems like he's having, like, good memories of her to where... Oh. Looks like a neighbor uh, came the by. The girl is kind of like, doesn't yeah, remember, want to remember anything. Kids. Probably because our mother scared the shit out of them. Yeah, she scared everybody else off too. Do you get your new toy zone? It's not really her new toy. It was for zone. It was for Molly, but Molly won't touch it, even though it's balls, and she likes the you balls. Really want to go out there? No, you're right. I mean, I did, but sure, game. God, look how beautiful this landscape is. I want to be there. I wonder if you're still fishing. Like you're one years old. Uncle you cannot Eddie have that. Here. That is for adults only. Sniffing my alcohol, why I oughta. Yeah, so she could keep an eye on us from the porch. She didn't trust anyone with us, not completely. Not even Eddie. Yeah, but it was still a good memory. See, you do have some good memories with Uncle Eddie. Yeah, yeah. Is he really our uncle? Or is he just because, like, we got that close that he was kind of like an honorary uncle? I have so many questions, though. So many questions, and the game will not tell me. <gasps> beaver Dam. Um, no beavers. Too bad. A picture of him would have helped with the sale. Yeah. City people love cute furry animals. Teeming with wildlife, but not the kind that eats the insulation. Full of unique psychotic memories. Comes pre-haunted, so you can live out your paranormal investigator fantasy. Yep. 
<laughs> That's not a bad self We should self do this for a living. <laughs> yes. Yes, we should. Mm. I'm so paranoid stuff's not working now. I still can't believe I convinced now. you to climb that raggedy ash tree with me. Yeah, not happening a second time. Oh, oh come on. why not? I was the one who fell out. And then I had to walk all the way to Delos Crossing to get Tessa to drive you to the hospital. I was fine. You had a concussion. I mean, are you really living life if you haven't gotten a concussion or two? Mm. I think that's or any broken bones at all. I've never broken a bone. At least we don't I really thought I broke my right arm now. once, but Luckily, it was fine. <laughs> remember the snowstorm in 2004? Marianne had us digging for hours. I guess Marianne is our mom. Of course. She was too proud to call another adult for help. Yep. Why do that when you've got free child labor? At least we don't seem to have any squatters. I mean... This will shock you, but it's locked. This will shock you, but most people try the front door first. I mean, she might have thought that they were already dealing with stuff. If it's a snowstorm that's affecting everyone? Ugh, it's locked. Seriously? Why haven't you checked the front door? Because true adventurers never walk a straight line. Very true. There you go. The lads got it. Guys, you have to look at everything. Find collectibles. You know, all that jazz. Who wants the front door anyways? Hey, you remember that? Come on, Tyler. It's freezing out here. You're so? right. Sorry. Woman Let's head up. inside. Wimp. I used to have a sandbox. I used to, as most people do, I used to pretend I was digging up dinosaurs. Uh, and I even had this rock that looked like an egg that I right would there. bury and then, oh, I found an egg, you know? <laughs> I loved my sand pit. Locked. What a surprise. Locked. Well, it's a good really thing I remember jacket. this. You sure that's the right key? Yes. Is it frozen shut? Maybe someone changed the lock. Who would change the lock on us? I don't know. We're screwed. You uh, got a plan B? Your uncle? Yeah. We find another way in. I never knew a locked door that could keep the crafty goblins out. Yeah. We had a million ways in and out of this old house. At least one of them's got to work. Mm, I'm assuming a window, because we already tried the two doors, and those didn't work. <sighs> the crafty goblins. I haven't thought about them in forever. Or should I say, us. We almost spent and more yet, time as we Marianne both grabbed them. spoiled the birds. She liked animals way more than people. I can relate to that. Oh, well, that would be why you're out in the middle of Alaska. It's not really, hey, let's go for the people. These windows open. I also did not mean to skip the dialogue. I thought they would cycle back to it. You need a hand with that? No, it should be fine. Okay. If we just um, Tyler, I don't want to tell you how to do your job, but maybe try to take the through. one that's crossing so off to first. Off. Which would be the tools Screwed in the shed. In pretty good. We need a screwdriver. Which would be in the shed. What you told I me think not I to mess with. I back in the shed. Let's go check. See, this is why we explore, because now we already know what At to do. At least the shed's still standing. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. I don't want to think about what might be living in the shed. Is it locked? Though. Well, better alive than dead. Ugh. Hey, it's locked, all right. We don't have a key for this? Maybe this key would work. Okay. Should be something in here that'll work. I guess Marianne left us something useful, huh? Yeah. We still have to find a way to get inside, though. And please, no broken windows. We'll see ya. What's happening? Do you feel that? The focus on our bond? And don't leave this room until everything looks as clean as a whistle. Ugh. 
This is the millionth time I've gotten in trouble because of you. You and your big mouth. Hey, you were thinking the same thing. You just weren't brave enough to tell her. What good would it do? It's not like she ever listens to us anyway. Well, I'd rather scream it right in her stupid face than be a quiet little mouse. Oh, we forgot the key. We need to put it back. Maybe we could hide it somewhere. You know, for fun. Goblins are supposed to help the princess, not play mean tricks. Whatever, you're not fun. I'm only trying not to make her even worse. Whoa, did that just happen? I don't know, but I saw it too. It felt oh, like it did good. when we're we not crazy. shift thoughts <laughs> with our voice. It did, but that was a memory of us 10 years ago, right? I, I vaguely <gasps> remember it happening. We are connected. So, and uh, that's new, right? Yeah. We could share thoughts and feelings, but we never replayed memories like that. All right, why so we're definitely happen? twins. And why that memory? I don't know. It's pretty eerie. Because you hid the key, I'm assuming, weird, was the hint? But our voice was always a good thing. This could be too. I hope at some point we talk to each other without using our mouth. That I'm would be cool. Something again. Are you? Near the barn. Yeah, me too. Because we hit the key, right? I'm assuming that's what it's eventually going to tell Hurry! us. Let's go see the silent frog. Coming. I'm coming. What? Stop sulking. I told you already. I'm sorry. No, you're not. <sighs> okay. Guess you don't want to see what I put in the treasure room then. What? No, I want to see. <laughs> I guess we know where to search now. We just have to remember which one is the silent frog. I would assume the one that has its mouth Damn. covered. Where's the key? Seriously? Kidding. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. I don't know what that one is. Nice That's job. like his Keep tongue out, but he's. I don't know. They look kind of weird. It's, not, it's definitely not like here, no evil, see no evil. Who knows? I'm so paranoid about this recording now. Ew, we're in the shed. Take? I don't know why, but I'm gonna take it. Huh. Who left this box here? It looks brand new. It wasn't me. Has someone been out here recently? Guess it's your lucky day, bird friend. Got it. All this for a screwdriver? You got a better idea how to get in? I would assume it's the chief, because I'm assuming he's the one that's been paying for the house until you were old enough to get a job and have a job that would actually pay for stuff. Seems logical to me. Yeah, it could be completely wrong, but that's... Oh, I have a walk mode. That's kind of how I'm taking this. These birds should get a reward for watching the house all these years. Thank you for your service, little friends. I really like the jacket. If I look at it, well, I see some birds. Always spoiled the birds. Nope. She likes okay. animals way more than people. I can relate to that. Did you just want to say the same old thing? The same old thing. I don't know if this is like a strange too, because I'm kind of like waiting for the second chapter to be like, okay, this is where we're ending the video. But I also don't know if it's going to do that. I don't know if it's just going to be like just playing it. You sure you want to go in property. There? This was our very first den, remember? Who knows what lives down there now? Badgers, beavers, wasp, mesquites. Everything okay down there? Raccoon. Tyler? Bobcat. <gasps> Oh, that's not funny! How did you not see him coming? <laughs> then why am I laughing? Okay, fine. But you're still an idiot. Yeah, but you love right. me. I'm going in for real this time. Okay. I'll see you at the front door in a few minutes. Oh, uh, you don't want to come crawling with me through the spiders? And the roaches? And termites? I'm assuming they would all be down there. They certainly would be if you went underneath my house. But then again, I live in Florida where it's hot. 
It's a hundred and like ten today. It's ridiculously hot. Ouch. Are you okay? What happened? I just hit my head like an idiot. Wait. What? Where are you? Ty. I'm outside. <gasps> Our minds are connected! Our voice. It's back. Oh, oh so we haven't shit. had it for the past ten years? I uh dragons. Straight ahead. Need to go left, I think. Right, well, I'm not gonna listen. You're Sorry. Right. Nothing here. Of course I was. <laughs> Take. It's a collectible. This is so much fun. I would have taken the gold. Not even in your dreams. <laughs> this is. It's not how I thought it was gonna start out, but this has really been fun. Mad Hunter is a cruel and ruthless creature. Once he starts hunting someone, he never stops. He'll chase his prey to the ends of the earth if he needs to. No one can escape his piercing eye. Hmm. Cool. I wonder who carved all that. Hello, truck. You know, this isn't actually a bad spot to play. And left again after the goblins. Nope. It was on the right. My bad. Okay, okay so it's left the way I want to go. Just for the collectibles. Oh, the moosey wow. friend. Can't say I ever expected to see you again. It's been a long time, buddy. See, he would appreciate the bear. Oh, you're just gonna put him back in the dirt? Take him with you! Save him! He needs a good wash. Whoa. Wait. That was our treasure? It's just trash. We could make treasure out of anything. Our imaginations were that powerful. Marianne grilled us about all these missing dishes, but a goblin never gives up their treasure. <laughs> pink. It always had to be pink. I found her old kite. <laughs> I think its wings have been clipped, though. Rest in peace, brave bird. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, the stuff you look back at with like adult eyes and you're like, oh, the treasure. Straight ahead. it looked completely you know, different than when it was a kid's. Our voice was just another child of fantasy. Me too. The Mad Hunter. Why am I still afraid to say his name? He was Mary Ann's creation. She made all the creepy characters. Ah, so she probably did the carvings then. I kind of wondered. Did I not just go in a circle? Yeah, I did. There's supposed to be a way I'm supposed to pop up. How did I get lost? Is there something else I could have collected or looked at? Why am I still afraid to say his name? He was Mary Ann's creation. She made all the creepy characters. Okay. Oh, there I am. I was about to say, what am I missing? been touched since we left it? Like, no one cleaned it out or anything? Tyler, 
Coming. Weird. Are you okay? I'll live. Good to hear your voice again. Yeah, same here. So, coming in or what? Just working up to it. And why were you, did you urge me to open the door? <laughs> Well, we're here. Here we are. So, how do we get started? We figure out what to keep, what to trash, and see what else this house might be trying to show us. We're just now going to, I mean, I the left I get that but like it seems like that's something maybe she should have done or I guess she was waiting for him but all right let's see broken shelf broken jar and the washing machine broken <laughs> the dryer never worked to begin with Marianne thought dryers were straight up evil energy hogs I hated hanging drippy laundry I Ooh. refused to change for a few weeks once so I wouldn't have to do it Sam, Robert, too expensive. Text for window? Fresh, okay. Texas for winter. Oh, he went to Texas for winter. Okay, too expensive. Other one just has question marks. Okay. So we try to find out how to fix stuff. Well, that's cool looking. We should take down the creepy masks if we don't want to scare the buyers away. Oh, so now you don't want to scare someone. <laughs> Everything they would take down, I'm like, oh, that's so cool. Hey, I just put on the mask and pretended to be a warrior. You were the one who got freaked out by it. Right. Not that she ever let me wear them very long. Huh. Mm. This bathroom still smells like Marianne. A good scrub and we'll be rid of that too. Ew. We were so competitive about who measured taller. Like, we actually had anything to do with it. And after all that, it ended in a tie. Yeah, none of that crazy stretching I did made any difference. It's so weird. I tried to weird. bury this dress in the backyard, no one... but Marianne caught me. It was a pretty dress. Yeah, well, we both know pretty was never my thing. It's so weird no one has touched any of this stuff until now. But I guess if someone was paying for the house, I guess it wow. won't matter. I forgot all about her weird concoctions. And how she was always testing them on us. Like we were lab rats. Ooh, that would suck. What are we gonna do with all her jewelry? Well, I'm certainly not gonna wear it. Donation pile it is then. There were so many times I looked in this mirror hoping somehow it'd show me something different. And now it does. Handmade soap. Still here after 10 years. Impressive. You could say that about the entire house. <laughs> yes, it's all been very impressive. I also feel like there should be more like dirt and dust. Okay, that was the mask. Try and do all the bottom floor before we go upstairs. String, glue, duct tape. Junk drawer. The holy Got trinity it. of house repair. Marianne loved having something to fix. I love fixing things too. Header installs, swapping cams. Uh, those are car things, right? No, those are hot rod things. <laughs> oh, <laughs> a completely top, different you'll thing. Fit right in around here. Squeak, squeak. Huh. What was she hoping to do with all these jars? She used to barter for our clothes with homemade jam. She tried everything to make ends meet. Well, not everything. Guess we never had time to complete the collection. These came out of one of the prize machines at the Vecchi store, right? Yeah, you'd slide the quarters inside on the oh, little so tray. Oh, so not actually and then our dog. Pops a sticker. <laughs> I got Zona, the lamb, because she keeps on trying to play with Pippins, and Pippins, his is a cat toy. Like it's it's cat size, and like. 
I, he has two because the first one has no ears because Zona ripped them off. After so all this time, I bought her own size special so with the cat. I don't the know if it'll work. Far. She's obviously like, she's playing with it, but <laughs> who hey, knows if that'll stop her from. Some little hearts here. Uh, what? March 7th. Oh. What? Hey, that reminds me. I owe you like 10 birthday gifts. I think we can let that slide. Um. I mean it. Hey, you being back is the only gift I need. Fix the window turn. I guess that's our birthday then, March 7th. Canceled. Helen. The last few months are almost all blank. Only a few appointments. Most of them canceled. What kind of appointments? Hairdressing, I think. Oh yeah, she did that for a while. Whoops, oh, I thought that was gonna comment on the, on the writing, okay. After all this time, I, I thought I'd feel more prepared to deal with Maybe this Maybe that's mess. like her birthday week or something? Okay, that, that is all I can do that way. Can I go any further? No? Okay, so that's all the calendar. Alright, there we go. I was about to say I can't move. What's wrong? I do want to talk to you, though. How are you feeling about being back? <sighs> I, we I got I knew what to expect. Stuff. Everything keeps catching me by surprise. My nerves are completely raw. I get it. I can get that. What about you? You okay? I'm... Uh, he seems to have it easier. It's not as hard as I thought. But then, Fireweed was all about learning how to regulate your emotional response to stress. And that's working. I think it helps to focus on the fact that we're here to let it go. Well, I don't think I can let it go until it's actually gone. Get that too. Um, can I? There you go. Room. Let's not go in there until we absolutely have to. Agreed. Roger that. She pinched every penny. I mean, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Old textbooks. Tessa gave them to us, right? Yeah, she thought we were gifted. What about you? You think you're gifted? I wouldn't be here if I was. What? Like, in this house with me? I mean anywhere near here. I'd be working in Juno or Seattle or something. Okay. A lot of resentment for this place. Got it. Hey, Mom, we are sorry the vase got broke. We didn't know you loved it so much. We need to be careful and not act up in the window room. Next time, we will try and use good judgment. Please forgive us for doing bad things. I'm sorry. Uh, what's that last part? Oh, two? I'm sorry, too. We should be more careful. I'm so very sad we made you cry so much. We should play outside instead. I will tell Ollie not to be wild all the time. We aren't going to do any more. We are sorry. Writing an apology letter? That's not What bad. are you reading? A letter we wrote her. To apologize for breaking that stupid face, remember? Bore your kids into good behavior. Great parenting strategy. Ooh. I don't remember these. It's probably one of Marianne's unfinished masterpieces. There's two of them. Maybe they were us. In some weird way that only made sense to Marianne. I mean, it could have. Wow. I'm so embarrassed for us. Many Da Vinci's we were not. She saved every drawing we ever did. There's a couple of these at my keep. Okay. She took so many pictures. Yeah. 
Like she had to document every second of our lives. I mean, that's not a bad thing. You can keep some of them, if you want. <sighs> no thanks. I mean, I like the photos of us, but I don't think I can forget that she was the one aiming the camera. Okay. I mean, to this, I mean, this right here doesn't tell me that she didn't love them. So maybe it's just as they got older, there were problems? She was trying to save the planet way before Al Gore made it cool. Has Al Gore ever made anything cool? Nah. I guess she was right Why about Why am I all shiny really around the edges? Not listening to crazy Marianne Ronan. Um, Mom? About me joining the hockey team? Mom! Sorry, what? Uh, not now. Maybe next year. But you promised! Keep whining, and my next year will become never. Can you cut my hair? Your hair is fine. But I want to cut it short, really short. What? Look, I'm tired, and I'm busy. Let's talk about this later. You always say that. Marianne said no to everything. It made me so pissed. She was always on edge those last few months. Yeah, and completely deaf to everything I was telling her I needed. She pretty much always said no to me too. True, but it felt personal with me. I mean, I can see saying no to hockey because then you gotta buy the equipment and I didn't driving there and I doing that. The like if they're fire. having money problems, I can see that. But there's no reason to deny a haircut. <laughs> yeah, Marianne was so tired she was usually asleep on the couch. We'd use our voice so we didn't wake her up. And then we'd be up all night telling stories and watching the fire die. Marianne was none the wiser. Or maybe she was. Maybe she was listening in on our conversations. Okay, I think that's everything downstairs because I want to do her room for last. So I think upstairs is where we're going to go next. Ooh. Oh, is this our bedroom? Nothing to say about our little cozy corner here. Yo, what are you doing down there? What do you think I'm doing? Trying to figure out if anything in Marianne's mess is worth keeping. Any progress? Not really. What about you? What are you doing up there? <laughs> uh, you know, just plotting world domination. Ah, that's a big responsibility. Not sure if you can hack it, Ronan. <laughs> oh, ye of little faith. I guess little it is faith. about time to check our bedroom. I'll be up in a second. Radio. Understood. Message received and all that jazz. Where'd you come from? Woo! That looks cool. The tale of two swords. He's well no, it's Zorro. I mean, he's missing a sword, but close enough. So we pretty much had the whole upstairs area to ourselves. So that's cool. Now this, this feels like home. Hey, the postcard we sent ourselves from Juno. Forever alone. What? We barely had any friends. We even had to be our own pen pals. I mean, that's a bad thing. Hello, Allison and Ollie. Who is Ollie? Did I miss that? We're writing from the past. What's it like in the future? Anyway, Juno is super cool. We took the tramway all the way up. Ollie is scared. Liar. We got some books, but Mom went to the restaurant at night and forgot them. That was cool. There were a lot of wells on the ferry. Tyler, no, it wasn't. They were we in the water, fast, stupid. Anyway, here's a book card to remind you how awesome we are, copy especially Allison. me. Gonna get this thing moving soon. Don't want the Mad Hunter to catch us. Over. <laughs> the Mad Hunter. Oh, he still gives me Oh, I see. It's different pins, so it's two, two people talking. I guess us or whatever. I don't know. What was that about the Mount Hunter? So I was much reading. my dream of being a hockey star. Marianne thought sports were too aggressive, too competitive, and too group thinky. 
How did you convince me to let you put this up? It was my favorite movie back then. I know, so it's not just your room, so, you know. You know, if there's one thing you gotta give Marianne, it's that she let us explore our artistic side. You should have seen Eddie's face when I tried to repaint his car. Yeah, I bet Uncle Eddie didn't appreciate your artistic touch. <sighs> I'd rather you called him Chief Brown if you're gonna be an ass about it. Can do that too. <laughs> no, no, the chief doesn't sound like someone I would like. Look what Ooh. I found. What? Only our greatest creation, the Book of Goblins. <laughs> Seriously? It was in that Tab? chest the whole time? All these stories. I Ooh. had ideas for so Damn, many. Damn, there's more. a lot of stuff. Marianne wrote a lot of them. Yeah. It's one of the only times I remember her being at peace. Oh my god, it's like an entire book? That's crazy. Once upon a time in an ancient deep forest, there lived a big frog. A small pond. She was a peaceful creature. She spent most of her time eating, drinking, swimming, and sleeping. From the morning to the evening, she did everything the smaller frogs did, except she did it bigger. She ate more, she jumped further, she was smarter, she made so much more noise. Everyone in the forest could hear her loud croaking, and everyone was happy that they could. You see, it was easy to get lost in the forest, but thanks to the frog's loud noise, you could just as easy find your way back to her pond. Maybe it wouldn't have been the same if Big Frog hadn't kept singing during the night, but she was much she was much too lazy an animal to stay active after dark. One day, an unknown visitor came to the forest for the first time. It was a young woman, dressed in a beautiful gown. She was walking fast through the woods as if she was running away. She never looked back. Many eyes spied the princess pass by, but no one dared help her, for the Mad Hatter was on a trail. So this is not our business, they said, and we have better look away. The Mad Hatter was an unyielding man who lived n nothing but hunting down prey for money and glory. Nothing could escape his piercing eyes for long. Oh my god, is it really like... This is crazy! <laughs> so the princess walked alone without help until she was helplessly lost in the big forest. Exhausted, she pushed on with no idea where she was heading. As the hatter drew closer, dogged and in his pursuit, she continued to his way until he heard a large croaking far off to her left. So clear and loud, the princess immediately made for the source of the noise. A few minutes later, she reached the big frog in a small pond. And the frog looked at her with a gentle smile. Help me, please. I need a place to rest and hide. Robert, the frog said, and the princess found. Stop making noise. The Mad Hatter is after me. Rabbit. The frog said again, so loud that the princess had to cover ears. The creature began to jump every which way. What are you doing? The princess asked. Stop all that noise or he will find us. But the frog crept croaking and jumping around her up, left, up, right, up, down. Cheat code. Until the princess understood the meaning of all the fuss. Curious, the woman climbed on the back of the big animal. Then with a leap, the frog set off away from the pond. The frog jumped so high and so far that even the Hatter could not find where the princess had gone. With a few jumps, the princess was out of his piercing eye. A few jumps more, and she had vanished for good. The princess closed her eyes and let her clever mount carry her wherever the creature pleased. Less than an hour later, the big frog had reached the other side of the enchanted forest, near the shores of the deep, very deep lake. There she landed without a noise in front of the big wooden house that had been abandoned. Thank you, the princess said, covering the animal snout with kisses. I only wish you could speak so I would understand what you were trying to do sooner. As she pronounced those words, something incredible happened. The big frog sounded to be able to speak. First words startled the princess. The Mad Hatter is always at my heels. Now you are safe and I have had my revenge. You can stay in this house. It has been abandoned for a long time and no one will look for you here. And then without looking back, the big frog hopped up back to the pond. And that is how the big frog saved the princess and how she earned the right to speak. <laughs> Oh my god. Should I read all of these? The bear and the princess. This is really all of them. Damn. There's so many. Oh, I kind of want to read them, but it's so much reading. I wonder if we're going to take the book with us. Where is it? Oh, we are. Maybe we can read the stories later. My diary. You never told me about it. Yeah. With the way Marianne was, I tried extra hard to keep it a secret. Marianne. Yeah, that day she found out about it. Ooh, okay. Oh, we're remembering here. Got it. Mom. Uh oh. Mom. Are we gonna relive the memory?
Mom, where is it? What did you do with it? <sighs> what now? I can't find my diary. I know you stole it. Give it back. Sweetie, whatever I do, it's just for your benefit. You read it, didn't you? You had no right to do that. I have the right to do whatever I need to protect my little girl. I'm not your girl. I hate you. You will always be my little girl. And no matter how hard you fight me, I'll fight twice as hard to keep you safe. <laughs> That's messed up. I don't know how I never saw it coming. She told me right to my face. She was willing to hurt me, to keep me from transitioning. Mm, you were also a kid back then. Tyler, there is no way you could have known she'd go that far. I want my diary back. Her room was the only place I didn't look. Okay, but do you need to get it, like, now? Yes. That diary was important to me, Allison. Writing down my thoughts helped me realize who I am. Besides, you don't have to go in the room. I can just do it myself. Well, then let's go find it. Oh. Did the ring she gave us that was the gift, is that the same ring she has on her hand? You think her room is still locked? It always was. Probably. I'm not looking forward to going in there. I know, but we'll have to eventually, and I need it back. Whenever we asked for a TV, she'd just bring home a big stack of books. I think she did us a favor with that one. Mm, you may not agree when we start digging into the HBO back catalog. We'll see. Ah, maybe that's why she likes movies and TV ah, shows so much now. Some of her old toys give me the creeps. <laughs> yeah, that... That is kind of creepy looking. Is that everything? There was anything in the box we could collect? Okay, well... I think I looked at everything in here then. Ooh, there's another memory! Missed that the first time around. King finally caught the hag. His furious voice could be heard throughout the forest. For your wickedness, you will be eternally bound to the lake. What? No way. Quiet, let me finish. You will no longer be allowed to leave. Not even under a full moon. Uh, excuse me, I'm watching this. <laughs> in the lake, and she never again tried to escape. Hmm. And then the title. What do you think? Not bad, right? Uh, I guess that's okay. But I would have changed the end. What? No way! <laughs> Ice King. I totally forgot about him. That's because it was dangerous to mention his name. He was too powerful. I wonder, because they have like the Mad Hatter and now the Ice King, I wonder if that's relating back to like the dad. Okay, so we can look at the story anytime. Okay, maybe we'll do like a story an episode, depending on how long this game is. Right, I think I've looked at everything. Hold up. What? Remember this? Uh, unfortunately. It's our stories. You must solve my riddle to earn the right to enter the princess's sanctum. Nothing <laughs> a good hard shove won't take care of. I mean, yes, we could brute force it, but it might be kind of fun to finally solve it, right? We have different definitions of the word fun. Okay, well, if we break it, we're just gonna have to fix it for the sale. So let's at least try not to. She's got a good we have point. The Book of Goblins? Yep. Hand it over. There you go. I hope we get that back. I wanted to read the stories. What are you looking for? The answer? The image on the door. It's making me think of a story from the book. One that Marianne wrote. Oh, so you she wrote a way better book. memory than me. Well, the Book of Goblins was my creation. And you'll never let anyone forget it. Oh, unless she wrote it. Here it is. The one about the princess's party. Give it a read. I think the symbols may represent something in the story. 
first ghost memories, now storybook puzzles. What a weird day. What a weird childhood. Touche. Eh, it sounds like you had a pretty cool childhood. I mean, not the parent aspect, but all this sounds cool. All right, so I have to read which one? The princess's party. Okay. Once upon a time in a deep and ancient forest, the princess was Malkin because it was the one year anniversary of when she had ran away from home. Sensing her sadness, her four friends showed up at her door. They were headed by the uh, pelican, purpose and attentive, and organized by the moose, sword and or seed. The bear was there with his claws still sharp, as well as the big frog panting away. Even the Heidi muskrat, who almost never had time for anyone, had came. The bear invited her to ride on his back, promising no wolf would hurry her path. And then the animals led her to the fairy glen, where the fabulous party had been prepared. There was a buffet of seafood the pelican had served from her never-ending beak. The air was filled with wick winking fairy lights the moose had arranged after clouds filled with the sky. And the... Grandizer's frog mixing up freezing drinks. Only the muskrat had done nothing in this particular munching off everyone else's hard work. The princess had a very good time at her party, such a good time that she forgot to say thank you to any of her friends. Knowing this, the fairies does a bit of mischief. When the princess went to open her gift, she found three identical boxes at the edge of the glen. Puzzled, she turned back and gasped, the entire party had vanished. Because you have taken your friends for granted, called the naughty fairies, we have hidden them from you, but we like Games, guess who has given you each of these presents and you will have your friends back. The princess opened the first box. Inside there was a torch, which was when Winlet revealed the truth. Hmm, the princess said. Someone wants to make sure I don't get lost in the woods when it is dark and I always see right from wrong. Which of my friends would give me the gift like that? She opened the second box. Inside there was a magical sword, which would leap right out of the bear's hands to defend them. Hmm. So someone wants me to make sure I'm protected from ever under threat. Which one of my friends gave me that gift? She opened the third box. Inside there was a box of coin. I wish for finding money if there's something the bear truly needed. Hmm. Someone wants to make sure I have money to buy food when I am hungry and clothes when I am cold. Which of my friends would give me that? The fairy thought about her friends when she smiled certainly. Fairies? I may have been thoughtless, but I appreciate all my friends have given to me and all that they have done for me. She gave her answers, and the fixed fairies were forced to resort the party of flesh of colorful lights. One by one, she gave the animals a hug and thanked them for their party, presents, the party, and all they had done since she moved into the forest. And that is how the princess celebrated her first woods. Okay. So, that being said... I guess this is the first gift, second gift, and third gift. Okay, so her first gift was a torch. Um, so it's not the muskrat, because the muskrat didn't do anything. Maybe the moose, because he did the fairy lights, and I would assume pelican is the money, and the bear is maybe the sword? I'm gonna try... moose... Uh, bear... Yeah! Did it! And boom, we're in. Is it haunted by the spirits? So many years, I expected this to feel more, you know, like a win. Speak for yourself. I'm the one who I saw the riddle. I wonder how they jerry rigged that door to do that. Why do I feel That's like you're really going to cool idea. Is that having like a standard lock? You have to solve a riddle to get into it. 
Where do you think we should start looking? Oh, I thought he just broke it. <laughs> I don't know. Where in this mess would she stash someone else's personal thoughts? Straight in the trash? No. I bet we could sell it on the internet. True. Maybe we could sell it to the guy who collects John Wayne Gacy's clown paintings. Okay. She and Tessa were best friends. Until suddenly they weren't. Wonder what happened. Either Tessa got sick of Marianne's moods, or Marianne got sick of Tessa's judgment. Mix of both, maybe? Oh. It's here! Well, I that was it. easy. I fucking knew it! Do you think she read it? Oh, of course. It was Ollie, she us. was nosy as hell. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, I was a little slow on that, but I got it. <laughs> Why would she have that if she had a, such a big throw out? Tyler. What? Look. What? Where did you find that? It was on her desk with her papers. Seriously? Are you fucking kidding me? Look, we gotta be really careful not to overthink this. But it doesn't make any sense. She, she was mad, right? She was mad at I, I cut my hair. She attacked me because I cut my hair. She was mad and she attacked you. We both saw it. Then what is this shit? I don't know. I don't know. Tyler, come here. She was trying to understand? She can't do this to me. Not now. When I've finally made sense of a few things. Can we do our memory oh, thing? That was your first mistake. Thinking the world made any kind of sense. <laughs> Ten years in the grave, and she's still finding new ways to piss us off. Yeah. I mean, I we don't know what happened, her. right? So, like, we can't say why she would have the book or what led to that, to the attack. Oh, man, I wanted to look at the rest of the room. There's stuff we didn't click on. I didn't think it was gonna... I didn't think it was gonna be that easy to find the diary. <laughs> I don't know, I guess she didn't really have any reason to hide it better than what she did. Hope we didn't miss any collectibles. That would suck if we did. Are you really, really sure? Ooh! A proper I am. Do it. I mean, her hair is pretty short to begin with. Okay. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Is it all gone? Yeah. I mean, not all of it, but <laughs> it, it looks close. amazing. Really? Taking yeah. the bed head look. You know, it's not bad if that's her first <laughs> time cutting hair. Show mom. She's been so sad lately. More than sad. She's been scary. Yeah, but not tonight, though. 
It was almost like a party. <gasps> thank you, Allison. Oh, so what a me. great sister. And are You're those cats sister. in her pants? I feel more like... Like your brother. Brother, sister, we look out for no, each other. No, I don't play those games. But I'm um, pretty sure I just gave you a really bad haircut. <laughs> yeah, it looks like bad head, but you know what? As long as he's happy, who cares? Mom? Old girl, too. Mom? That was a lot of shells, but they're in Alaska, so she could have had it for protection, because they're not close to a town. Glad we found your diary. But they had, like, Me too. a party night. I guess she was trying to figure out where you were at. Yeah, well, she should have asked. I wasn't some goddamn research project. I was her child. Maybe she was trying to kill herself? Because she'd been really sad and scary lately and then like they had this party and about the book says it all Raising wrong like she child? didn't want the son there to see her like know that know how rare these books were in 2005 was she trying to figure out how to support me maybe which she wasn't trying she never <sighs> it doesn't make sense i know you cutting your hair was what set her off, right? Allison, she read I mean, my diary. It was stormy she and she was loading knew. the gun before. It wasn't my hair. Saw and if we hair. were wrong about that, fuck. You think she read it? It's possible she never even opened the diary and that things are exactly like we always thought they were. But if she did and they aren't. God, Tyler. Sure. I mean, we could have been wrong. But what good does it do to ask the question now? You mean other than not having to live with the thought that my mom tried to kill me for being me? Tyler, I know you want there to be something to find. Something that'll make it all make sense. But she was unhinged. So that's it then. She was crazy. Nothing else to say. I think we'd be better off if we tried to move on. Why don't we talk to a few people who knew her? See if that book makes any sense to them. People don't want to talk about Marianne. They pretend like that night never happened. Like you do? I mean, they were friends. What about Tessa? She was Marianne's closest friend. Let's ask her about it. Sure. But I'll warn you, she's particularly touchy about this subject. Well, maybe she'll talk to me. I was always her favorite. Operative word was. But we need to go by the store anyway to get a few things for the repairs. Great. Two seagulls, one stale hunk of bread. I'm not sure I like that analogy. Listen, I know you don't want to keep talking about this. But you're obviously not going to be satisfied until we do. So let's talk. You've been on edge all day. 
Is there something more going on with you? It's nothing. Pretty sure it's not nothing. And I'd like us to be on the same page. I thought we were on the same page. Sell this place as quick as possible and move on. Look, I've already explained why this is so important to me. Why are you still dragging your feet? It's just, with the way you avoided this place for the last three years, I thought you wouldn't want to spend any extra time here. I mean, oh. it's not like you had been so around this place either, about. considering the locks were all changed. Yeah. It's just, you graduated three years ago. And this is the first time we've seen each other in person. I'm gonna say it wasn't right. Can't find the time seems like I a shit thing to you. say. I just wasn't ready to be Tyler in Delos Crossing. I tried to visit you. I tried to go to your fireweed graduation. I wanted to bake you a crappy boxed cake and take awkwardly posed photos. I know. But you shut me out. All I got was non-responses and half-assed evasions. I mean, she has a right to make it about her because that's if that's the way it's been for the last couple of years, she has a right to complain about that. Especially when you're now wanting her to be open about everything. Look, I didn't want to see anyone. I just started testosterone. And, oh God, I had the worst acne. My emotions were all over the place and the smells. Allison, the smells, men smell bad. I know, I've dated a few. <laughs> Look, I needed some time to figure my shit out before I asked anyone else to try. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I'm curious about why she wants to rush this. So, I was Especially thinking, since that you've had it for hmm? 10 years, so why, need to I mean... Rush to sell this place? We've been over this, and we both agreed it's time for a clean break. I know. Trust me. I'm not talking about staying for long. Just long enough to get some answers. And you think this house has those answers? Maybe not, but it's a place to start. Well, it would be a shame if there was something to find and we tossed it out. How about we start digging without putting off the sale? And if it seems like we need more time, we'll talk about it then. Okay. I mean, no one has wanted so, the place yet anyways, plan. right? And we yep. still have to, like, fix it out and empty it out, so... We also stick to our repair schedule. If that's really what you need. All right. Deal. Holly's Diary. It's been a long time since I heard that name. Was I the only one who ever called you that? Actually, cool no. plan. I used it at Fireweed for a while, until I settled on Tyler. Most people were pretty no, chill about Switch. Not everyone, though. What do you mean? I had a mentee who refused to call me Tyler. He didn't want my help. He didn't want anyone's help. I'm sorry. I like the name Tyler, by the way. Thanks. Whoa. Uh... Mom and Allison argue again. At least I'm not the only one Mom is screaming at now. Mom almost seemed jealous we didn't tell her what we were planning to do in the forest. Allie thinks we should tell her about our voice. I think she knows already. Mom seems really upset when I ask her to join the hockey team. Like it's wrong for me to play a boy sport? I'm going to keep asking. I will try again next week. I think it was more of the money aspect, but I could be wrong about that. She said no again. I'm so mad at her. Why does she always say no? Why does she ever let me do what I want to do? Allison and I started writing a story. Well, Allison did. I didn't like it when I... She doesn't like it when I change anything. Why can't one of the goblins be a boy goblin? Fair question. God, I used to have... Well, I called them journals because I didn't like the way diary sounded. But I used to have one of these. I think I still do somewhere, but I'm pretty sure, like, I went, I'm pretty sure it's in, like, my keepsake box. I had a couple of them, though. They were mostly full of, like, song lyrics and, like, poems and stuff, and I'm like, oh. Saw stories, yes, saw Star Wars yesterday at Bobby's house. Luke was so great, but Mom found out we watched and got so mad. She said it's glory. Gloried War. Sims up. Uh, Saturday 5th, January 
20,005. Would mom be happy if I could do what she wanted me to do? When she looks at me, she just doesn't see me. I wish I could show her. I wish I could make her understand. I think she doesn't want it. Allison told me again that it was my fault mom got mad at us. She's such a suck up. Mom barely said anything to us in days. Alice says she saw her throwing away pages from a book of goblins. Do this, do that. I'm sick of her voice and I'm sick of that dumb name too. I'm Ollie the Goblin. Okay. God, I get this wanting to be like, would, this, would mom be happier if I did this? Because <laughs> it's, I'm absolutely not a girly girl. And I had this, who I thought at the time was my friend, um, come over to the house. She had a sleepover, which I did not know because this was in high school. So when she said, when I asked, do you have permission to come over? She said, yes. And I just believed her. I didn't check with her parents. I just believed her. And then it turned out she didn't have parents. And my parents almost had the cuffs called on them because these other parents thought we had kidnapped their kid. Anywho, I thought she had permission to come over, but so she stayed over and the next morning we had these trash sacks that were full of clothes that we had. I forgot why we had them. I think they were like from a family member or something. They were all used closed. Um, or maybe they were for, for, from a church. I, I don't remember why, but we had these, there was like three or four bags of like the the black like huge like garbage bags they were full of stuff and they were full of like dresses and stuff and I didn't want to try any of them on and my friend at the time was like oh I'll do this and this and mom was so happy and I was like oh should I should I be wearing like dresses and stuff and I hate dresses and even now it's the same thing like oh if I didn't get tattoos if I didn't get the motorcycle you know I know it would make my parents happier but also like at some point you just got to be you and unfortunately there's parts of myself that I know my folks don't like like when I told my dad I was gay he didn't talk to me for three days I really thought that I lost him if you squint, I really you thought forget, he was gonna kick me out and like way. I'm sure Mary like my mom seemed cool but like she we're she bought me books like I would uh, on Amazon I would wish those books I yeah, wanted and then she got me those books and I'm 100% positive she read beforehand what they were because she always wants to know what I'm reading and so you know the description would be you know girl falling in love with a girl girl kissing girl you know girl relationship WLW you know that stuff so I'm positive mom knew before I told her but dad I'm like she probably didn't have a clue because I didn't talk to dad about my books and stuff and so he didn't talk to me for three days, and I really, really thought I had lost I, someone. I forgot how beautiful and it, it is. Really sucked. It sucks that we that's such a our own world that's such a time. fear because even like the my lake. family was, was so close, layer, and the mountain wasn't. And like even now, my family True. is so close. Like Plus, it's my brother here, it's anything. me, you it's my it two day. parents. Not always. Um. You know, like, I'm really close to my family. I'm getting a tattoo dedicated to them. Like, I'm so family-oriented. And to think that that fear is still something I had to worry about, even though, like, I was close to them. I told them everything. But to know that that was there really I think messed like with me. I up somewhere like this, just not here. Somewhere with more trees than people? Exactly. Just go into it with a little more of a plan than Marianne did. already working on it. With my degree, it'll be easy to get a job as a ranger. After you spend a little time in Juno? Uh, still a maybe on that one. Nice ring. Get from your boyfriend? Come on. I told you I'm not with anyone right now. Don't rub it in. Why does it look familiar? It was a gift from Eddie. Ah, so I had them right. both made at the same time. Both? Oh, wait. Yeah. This ring is supposed to be linked to the one he gave you, in a spiritual way. Do you believe in all that? You mean, do I believe we could be linked in some other metaphysical way? You know, other than the one that already lets us share thoughts and memories. Fair enough. <laughs> <sighs> all right. I think that's enough time enjoying the view. I wasn't going to say anything, but... Yeah, yeah, I know. I was the one all eager to go, and then I started waxing poetic about the landscape. Go ahead. I'll catch up. 
Need to respond to a message. Ah, my sister, the social butterfly. We left the diary out there after we made such a big deal about Seems getting it. Seems we got it. a trespasser. <laughs> what the fuck? You got five seconds to talk me into defending my property. Why is it your, your property? property? Five, four. I'm Tyler. No known in Tyler's. Three. Uh, two, Allison. Sam. Ellie, what are you doing out here, girl? This is our house. Was I talking to you? Sam, put the gun down. This is Tyler, my brother. Are you? Brother? Oh, shit. Huh. Oh. I guess I heard about all that, but I never. <laughs> nice Damn. way to be rough up to the you look town. Like a real man. He is a real man, so you dipshit. You, Sam. you know what I mean. Fuck I you. Didn't know they could make a woman look so much like a man. Can we punch this guy? Not a woman who looks like a man, Sam. A man. A real man, just like you. Oh, shit. Guess I'm the asshole again. Yeah, you are, you gotta asshole. You excuse us, old guys. No, I, really I don't. don't. Come on. You kids keep changing the rules. You so keep up, fuckwad. Just respect the people are who they say they are. Yeah, hard. don't say no, don't ask hard, comments like I didn't know a woman can look like a man. We'll get used to it, cause we aren't going anywhere. I hate that excuse. I'm an old guy. Fuck you. You can keep up with technology. So you can keep what up are with. What you doing here exactly? What social oh, like well, society yeah. is doing? I've been kind of keeping an eye on this place for you. You know, it's like patching the roof, checking the pipes, you know, all that stuff. Thank you, Sam. Oh yeah, that's. Yeah, uh, that's no big deal. I, just, I guess you're the one that you know, changed your mom, the You know, your mom, she was, uh, she was a special lady. She deserved was much she? better than, you know, uh, what I got. hate this guy. I really do. Not him. Sam, I Didn't really don't like him. Didn't you used to help Mary Ann with repairs and building projects? Oh, yeah. You yeah, don't think she deserved what she got coming to her? I just, you know, took it on myself to help her keep this place standing. How... Antiquated of you. Thanks. I uh, yeah. guess you two are still aiming to sell the place? That's the plan. Which, by the way, we need your keys. Since apparently you went and changed the locks? Oh yeah, absolutely. But, uh, selling your mother's house? Are you sure? Bad or good? It's all you've got left of her. Okay, one, she's not a place. Two, if she was uh, someone we wanted to remember, you remember in the heart. You don't remember by a piece of land. Funny. Don't remember asking for your opinion on the subject. Tyler! What? He, sh he shoved the gun in my face. What do you want from me? A fresh start is what we both need. Of course, yeah. And he's an asshole. Come on. I don't owe this guy any respect. But Would you like to buy the house? Be. Since you're so, so interested. Too. Ellie, can you hear me? Ty, we can't do this when we're in the middle of talking to someone. But this is pointless. He's here. He's always hammered, and who knows, maybe it'll make him chatty. Now come on, people think our family is weird enough. Um, everything okay with you two? <laughs> yes. No. Oh. Fine. All right. Perfect. Peachy King. Are you too close? Are you? Are you or at me? Come here. How well did you know her? Molly, come here. Come Not here. as well as I thought. I heard what happened that night. Well, what are you doing? Yeah, good girl. girl. What are you doing? You're so pretty. It really You're so pretty. Didn't. What are you doing? 
much as anything ever has. Look at Bubba. Other folks say they saw it coming. Not me. Excuse me. Did you help with her door? Her door? The puzzle on her bedroom door. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah. You two kept sneaking in, giving her no privacy, huh? So a normal lock won't do? Yep. Better late than never, I guess. Uh, never solved it myself. Uh, I mean, not that I wanted to. I, I, uh, <laughs> that sounded creepy, uh, my so, uh, dude. Like, I guess you know nah. all your mama's secrets now, huh? Huh. She may have one or two left. We should get going. That's all you think we'll get out of him? I mean, it only had the two questions I could ask him and I asked him that. He's too wasted to be of any more help. I'll tell him to get a move on then. Well, we've got you guys a need like, run to make If you guys ever seen Census 8, you need to work visit. on like so. talking out loud right. while having another conversation yeah, in your head. That's Get probably going, really too. hard, but... Um, Sam, we all gotta get going. Oh, uh, of course. Of course, yeah, I got lots to do myself. I, lots of to-dos on old Sam's list. You were... And you don't want to keep Brown waiting, you know? <laughs> Thanks for looking out for this place. And don't forget the keys on your way Happy out. Happy to do it. I... Uh, don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. Anything at all. You hear? You will certainly be the last on my list. Me thinks he has a crush on our mom. Sam? Huh? Uh, Sam? Huh? The keys? And then oh, leaving? Oh, yeah. Of course. Of course. Yeah, they're, they're yours. I, uh... Uh, this place, it meant a lot to your mother. It almost felt like it was a part of her, and, and it's like some part Can of her is alive go here her? still. Hopefully the house doesn't turn out to be a murderous psycho that tries to kill us in our sleep, huh? Uh, yeah. Well, uh, take care of yourself, uh, both of you. Bye. Ooh, I did not see the carvings on the couch. That is cool. Hey, so we really do have a lot to do. Okay, go on. I'll be right behind you. That couch is cool. All right, I like the twin speaky thing we got going on. <laughs> I mean, she took photos, she kept drawings. I mean, again, we are not getting enough context of what she was really like versus like what they're telling us, you know? Michael, I think. No, maybe? Kind of look like the picture. I don't know if that's right or not. Ooh, steep. And the drive. Ooh, your brakes do not sound good. Give him a little oil shot. Ready to Veni Vidi Vecchi? I'm ready to talk to Tessa. Split! <laughs> Just try to keep in mind that your memory of her is ten years out of date. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be if she reached out to me while I was in Fireweed, which she didn't. Well, you did kill her best friend, so... So I'm guessing this is Michael? Ooh, 
Oh, we switched people. But also, <laughs> I'm gonna leave this here because I've been playing for two hours and like 30 minutes. And this is like a good chunk dunk, so. I'm gonna leave this here. This is really good. This is not like what I was expecting, like going in expecting from watching like the trailer and reading the description of it. It's not what this has been so far. And I'm really happy that this is what it is. This is so good. I'm really enjoying this and I'm really glad I decided to play it. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Tell me what y'all think about the game. Yeah, talk to you guys later.